can't go live yet. I hope you can hear us. That was very embarrassing. I just actually accidentally hit the live button. So we went live by accident. There is Mr. Steve. Can you see Mr. Steve? Can you hear us? If you can hear us, please let us know. Please say, hello, we can hear what you're saying very clearly. If you can hear us now, please let us know. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, it's Mr. Duncan and there's Mr. Steve. Say hello, Mr. Steve. Hello, Mr. Steve. <laughs> you are so funny. So here we are, we're doing something very unusual. It's Boxing Day and <laughs> we are now live from the center of Much Wenlock on Boxing Day. Did you have a super duper Christmas? I hope so. Christmas day yesterday, we had a lovely time, didn't we, Steve? We relaxed, we took it easy, and of course we ate lots and lots of food and some rather nice chocolates as well. The chocolates were very nice and they were a gift from Steve. Thank you very much for those. But, but shall we confess now that we actually ate all the chocolates last night? We ate all the chocolates all 30 of them i probably had 10 in the first <laughs> five minutes <laughs> they were absolutely delicious they might actually be the best chocolates we've ever tasted in our life we could they can't hear you now <laughs> wait there a second Let, let's put the front camera on so we can both be seen just to prove that we are both live hello there yes i'm on camera i little I look a little bit fat, but that's because the uh, the front camera on the phone makes everything look a little wider than it really is. Although Mr. Steve still looks amazing. I tell you, we're a bit wider after eating all those chocolates. I must admit we, we are we are actually a little heavier. I actually feel as if I've I've put on about two stone since since yesterday. They were the most expensive chocolates I've ever bought. And look behind us. Can you see behind us? I can see the spa shop. Can you see the spa shop over there? And of course, in there, they sell lots and lots of delicious chocolate. It's the only place that's open in Much Wenlock. Yes, everywhere is closed at the moment. Let's, let's just have a look around. Can you see behind me? There, there is virtually no one, no one here in the square in Much Wenlock. It is actually deserted. Just one or two people buying some things from the spa shop, but otherwise, the place is actually completely empty. So most of the shops are closed today. Most people still taking a rest after the Christmas festivities yesterday. But, but we thought we'd be different. We thought we would come out and do something a little different. So Mr. Steve, <laughs> Mr. you don't look very comfortable by the way. Are you, are you a little ashamed or embarrassed? I'm fine, fine, fine. Are you okay? I'm absolutely fine, yes. Just uh, no one's, I don't know anyone here, do I? <laughs> Anybody can see me? No. I'll just, you you see, I, I don't actually care. I can walk around and talk to myself with a camera and I, I, I just don't care. But Steve is a little bit more 
apprehensive about doing this. But, but, but from my point of view, I, I don't care really. I don't care what people think or say. So there you go. I'm his bodyguard. <laughs> if, uh, if some drunks come out from the pub and see him doing this, they might want to beat him up. So I'm here to protect him because, you know, I'm very manly and I can do that sort of thing. <laughs> a lot of people think my microphone is a teddy bear. No, it isn't a teddy bear. It is a microphone. So let's stand here in this shop doorway and we definitely won't look suspicious at all. So, Mr. Steve, did Santa Claus bring something nice for you? Well, he brought something nice for you, and I'm carrying it right now. Do you want me to show the viewers what, uh, what I bought you for Christmas? Yes, yeah, show me what you bought me. And this is something very useful. I always like it when you get presents or gifts that are useful. And this is something very useful. Look at that. That is my new rucksack, my backpack. So I can carry my equipment around safely and conveniently very nice that, that that is a very nice rucksack yes he's got me carrying it already <laughs> i've got mr steve helping me you see today he's my helper so here we are for those who have just joined us we are live in much wenlock this is where i live and at the moment look behind me can you see it's actually completely deserted there is no one here Yes, we know why that is, because they've seen you, Mr Duncan, and they've all run off. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Steve, for that vote of confidence. Uh, no, that isn't the reason why, but it is a good excuse to, to stand around talking to yourself live on YouTube. Today is Boxing Day. Now, a lot of people are wondering why we call this particular day Boxing Day. Do you know why, Steve? No, I don't. I did, I did used to know, but I've forgotten, so you'll have to... Uh, uh, re-enlighten me on that one Mr Duncan. Boxing Day is called Boxing Day because many years ago all of the servants and the workers who had to work during the Christmas period were paid the day after Christmas. It's true and they were given small red boxes called Christmas boxes and inside was their wage their money so the payment from the work they did over christmas and that is why the day after christmas is called boxing day uh, does that mean that uh, for helping you in your live stream on christmas eve i'm going to receive a christmas box from you mr duncan no you didn't work yesterday though oh, the day before that's you... over christmas no if you worked on christmas day then you get the Christmas box. I'm sorry, Steve, about that. So I did cook the Christmas meal. Yes, I cooked it, all of it. <laughs> Steve did cook the Christmas meal yesterday. It is true. I, I, can't, I can't shy away from that fact that Mr. Steve did actually cook the Christmas dinner yesterday. So that's what we actually did. So now we're standing underneath the, the, the world famous, well, it is now, the world famous clock in the centre of Much Wenlock. And this is the place in which I live. And also Mr. Steve lives here sometimes. <laughs> Although today he's pretending not to know me because I'm standing in the town centre talking to myself. Fortunately, there aren't many people here though, Steve, today. There aren't many people walking around. And most of them look uh, pretty hung over from overindulging in alcohol it, yesterday. It's true, we've met some really miserable people today. We were walking in today, we've actually walked all the way in to the town centre and there were some people who, who walked by and they were so miserable. So we were saying hello to them and they were just ignoring us. They just ignored us, how could you ignore us? Oh look, it looks like I've got something coming out of the top of my head there. Oh yes, it looks a bit like the Statue of Liberty. I look like the Statue of Liberty. Let me just let me just see if I can do it with my microphone. I can do my impression of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, I can't do it now. I look like the Statue of Liberty. By the way, it's it's two thirty, light according to the clock up there. Yes. Or if you, were, that's always the time you have an appointment at the dentist. Two thirty. <laughs> If you go to a Chinese dentist, he will always see you at tooth hurty. <laughs> uh, that's a terrible joke and a little bit racist. So, Mr. Steve, we are, we are being asked some questions here on the live chat. What 
are your plans for 2018? Uh, to not help Mr Duncan any more with his live streams. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking, of course. Uh, I've got a feeling Mr Duncan is going to be roping me in at uh, getting me to do a lot more with his live streams. And I shall be very happy to do so. I'm very pleased to hear that because I think I'm going to be using Mr Steve quite a lot during 2018. Yes, we are just a few days away from the new year. And guess what? Next Sunday, I will be here with Mr Steve in the studio. We will be live and we will be together on the last day of 2018, uh, 17. <laughs> just to see 2018 in although sadly we won't be live at midnight unfortunately because well it's very technical but but because lots of people will be using the internet and their mobile phones to send each other happy new year messages so it might not work very well but it could be that uh, while we're on some people will be celebrating new year like they were crossing over into Christmas Day when we were live uh, on Christmas Eve so we might get the same thing happening. That was very exciting yes whilst we were broadcasting on Sunday lots of people were actually seeing Christmas Day arrive so that was quite exciting wasn't it I, I must admit I did enjoy that. So we might get exactly the same thing happening on New Year's Eve so if you're watching on New Year's Eve and it suddenly is midnight and turns uh, to the new year 2018 we want messages to say Happy New Year. That's it. We welcome your messages on Sunday to, to uh, see in the new year. So we will be with you on Sunday. That is Sunday the 31st of December. So I hope you are enjoying this rather strange live stream. We are live. Uh, it's not raining. It, it's a little chilly. I'll be honest with you. It is quite cold at the moment. But we, we, thought, we thought we would brave the cold weather and come out and take in some fresh air also we need to walk off some of that food that we ate yesterday must have probably consumed about 4,000 calories yesterday that's a lot of that's a lot of calories I've just noticed mr. Duncan you haven't shaved for this live performance no I, I haven't shaved today I, I, I'm feeling very lazy because it's Christmas so you might notice that I have some stubble some some stubble on my face no I haven't shaved today I haven't. I've just noticed that, that, that we, it looks like we are actually in reverse. I've just noticed we're actually back to front. I don't like that. <laughs> I want to be the right way round. Everything is actually reversed. I don't know why. I always thought that it showed a proper image. How strange. Yes, it looks like everything is back to front. <laughs> I don't like being the wrong way round. <laughs> uh, look, at, look at Mr. Steve. He looks so happy. I wasn't earlier. <laughs> no, I, I must be honest, Steve wasn't actually all that keen on doing this because unlike me, sometimes Mr. Steve is very, very, what's the word? Shy? Self-conscious? Practical. <laughs> uh, uh, I, well, I just thought, you know, if we did something like this, we might get beaten up <laughs> by local thugs. <laughs> the local the local villains of much wenlock although there aren't many i'll be honest with you in fact some people think that we are the local villains when we walk around especially at night because we do like walking around the village or the town should i say at night yes and uh, as a uh, few people pointed out when you did your last live broadcast from much wenlock there's a lot of elderly people uh, in much Wenlock, so they even though we're sort of middle-aged they're actually frightened of us <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is can, you, can you believe it we, we are actually the young sort of louts in much Wenlock, even though we are both pushing 60 so that, 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 that I find very amusing yes it was two weeks ago today actually two weeks ago today that we were live in much Wenlock, and here we are again live Pushing 60? What do you mean by that, Mr. Duncan? Speak for yourself. Well, I, I feel like it sometimes anyway. So here we are live on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining us on this rather special and quite unusual broadcast live from the middle of Much Wenlock. We are standing underneath the clock. Just in case you are watching in Much Wenlock, you can actually come along and 
join us if you feel like it. Let's go over here. Let's enjoy some of the views of the of the square, shall we? I've seen some local thugs on bikes. Well, local thugs. It's an interesting phrase that. They 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 they're about 11 years old. Yes, but they they could probably beat us up very easily. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Ah. Oh, oh Mr. Steve, look there's a lovely bench, a lovely chair to sit down on. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. That's where the, all the old people sit down to rest themselves when they've been uh, walking around. Yeah, but what it says on this bench, lots of, uh, it, it, it looks a little old and it's covered in moss, but it was obviously put here uh, to commemorate, uh, well not to commemorate, in memory of somebody who died, because there's a little um, marking on the back of it. Shall we show the viewers what that says? That's very cheerful, Steve. Let's cheer everyone up. Wait there a second, let me just turn the camera around. Here we go, okay. It says, in loving memory of Barbara and Derry Roderick Smith, 1920 to 2005, and 1922 to 1994. So this bench has been put here as a memorial so this is something you see quite often in the UK. Quite often people will have little tributes, little memorials, quite often in the form of a chair or some sort of seat. Very nice. So here we are in Much Wenlock. We are currently outside a place called the Old Smoothie. This is a very well-known eating place. There are lots of eating places around here and here is a little secret area. <gasps> Look at this. Wow, we are now going into an area of much Wenlock that not many people see. <laughs> the back streets. Here's, uh, here's something interesting. Uh, Look at there's a painting for sale here. Um, what do you think of that? How much would you pay for that painting, would you think? I don't know. Let's have a look. Well, <laughs> so, so I, let's have a look. Shall we? Shall we have a look how much it costs? Let's see how much you would have to pay for this. Okay, this this painting here costs one thousand two hundred pounds. Hmm. One thousand two hundred pounds. That seems very, very expensive for, for 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 that that thing there. I would say so. I maybe I would probably pay maybe 60 pounds for it. I think, I, I think even you could paint something like that, Steve. I could paint something. My, there's a lot of money in art. Yes, maybe, maybe Mr. Steve, you're missing out on your chance, your opportunity. Maybe you should become a famous artist. Oh, look, he's my dentist. This is my dentist. This is where I go to have my, my dental work done. <laughs> At tooth 30. Yes, we've done that joke already, Steve. I just thought I'd do it again. Yes, thank you very much. We've got quite a few people watching now. I'm very surprised to see so many people watching. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a nice bin. Oh, over look, there. we've got uh, Sir Peter North here from America, watching in America. I don't know who S Sir Peter North is. He sounds very important with a name like that. Very important, I think so. Just putting the front camera back on. Oh, here I am again. So for those who are wondering what on earth is going on, it's Mr. Duncan and also Mr. Steve. We are walking around the place in which we live. Very deserted today. There is actually nothing going on here today. All the shops are closed. Everything is shut because it's Boxing Day. It is the day after Christmas. I hope you had a super Christmas yesterday. I don't know what you were doing, whether you were doing something nice or something interesting. If you were, I hope you had a good time. Oh, here's another tea shop here just behind me. Can you see that? Another place where people like to sit down and drink their tea and eat their cakes. Lots of places to look at. He's in a hurry. <laughs> Thank you very much for your messages. Thank you very much to Bella and also 
Natalie, thank you Natalie for saying Merry Christmas. Yes, we had a lovely Christmas yesterday, didn't we Steve? We did indeed, a lazy day uh, eating, mostly eating. Well, of course, if you have Christmas day as a rest day, all you have to do is sit and eat for the whole day. And that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. Hello to Moldova. Stefan is watching now in Moldova. Thank you very much. Apologies once again for the start of today's live stream because I accidentally pressed the button to start the live stream. Oh, look at this beautiful shop. Oh, isn't this lovely? I think it's someone's house. I think it's actually someone's house, so I'm not, I'm not going to put my camera into their window. Yes, I think it's actually someone's, someone's house. <laughs> oh, Monk's Cottage. here's a famous place here in Much Wenlock, because that's where I am at the moment, broadcasting live from Much Wenlock in Shropshire, England. And here's a place very well known. The Raven, the Raven Hotel. And there is the sign. Of course, the Raven is a very large bird, quite an angry looking bird. So the Raven Hotel. I always remember when we first moved here, we used to come here quite often to have an evening meal. But the only problem with this place is sometimes it's a little bit expensive. <laughs> so this place can be very, very expensive, can't it, Steve? They're actually open. Oh, they're open at the moment. We can go in. Shall we go in and do a live broadcast from the bar? We might get thrown out if we did that. I think we'll get <laughs> thrown out. Yes, you're right. I think, I think that's not a, not a good idea. Now, for those who are into movies, you might be interested to know that this particular area here that we're standing in now was actually featured in a film. Did you know this, Steve? Yes, I've watched the film. The film is called Clockwise, and there is a sequence in the movie that was filmed right here at this house that we're standing outside. And the star of the film was a man called John Cleese. And he actually filmed a sequence right here outside this house. So if you've ever seen the movie, or if you haven't, the movie is called Clockwise. And there is a famous scene in the movie where John Cleese stands in a telephone box making a call. Sadly, the telephone box is now gone. And this building stands where the telephone box used to be. But right on this corner here, from a, from a big well-known movie, it was actually filmed. Can you believe it? Somebody's stopping. So we're stopping. Following us. They're interested to see what we're doing, you see. They're very intrigued, I think. I think they're, <laughs> I think they're lost. Oh, I think they're lost. So on this street corner, in a movie called Clockwise, the actor and comedian John Cleese stood in a phone box trying to desperately make a phone call. It's a very funny scene. But sadly, the phone box is gone and now this large building stands here instead. So if you get a chance to see the movie, you will see some of Much Wenlock. In fact, you will see this very house in the movie and also this hotel, the Raven Hotel. It's true. <laughs> I have a feeling, Steve, lots of people are now going to watch Clockwise. There's a man on a bike in a very bright... Uh, uniform uh, coming towards us. I think so. I think he might be the only person doing any exercise today because everyone else is feeling very, very lazy. What you call a high visibility jacket. High visibility? What does that mean? It means that it can be seen very easily because he doesn't want to get run over by, uh, by other road users. Oh, okay. So high visibility. Or, of course, sometimes they call it high vis. Fluorescent. Fluorescent, something that glows very brightly is fluorescent. Very nice. So here we go. We're walking back down now towards the square. We are live in Much Wenlock and it's Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve. 
we're back again <laughs> Jeffrey Bobs is now saying I'm watching clockwise now yes well okay, actually you... I do believe it's actually available on YouTube I think there is actually a copy of clockwise on YouTube so this is the actual hotel that John Cleese stands outside there it is so this is the actual hotel that he's outside in the movie and this is the house that is featured in the movie <gasps> look at that it's like Hollywood oh my goodness who would have thought that Hollywood would have made movies here there was also a movie made many years ago uh, I think it was in the 1950s also made in the center of Mitch Wenlock and that movie is called Gone to Earth Gone to Earth it's a very interesting movie and the Guild Hall in the center of Mitch Wenlock is actually used in the movie so actually quite a few things have been filmed here quite a few films TV shows have actually been filmed here in Much Wenlock. And now you're live in Much Wenlock. This is true. <laughs> Thank you to Ali Amur. Thank you, Mr. Steve, for making the effort. Thank you, Mr. Duncan, for making the effort to appear today. The houses don't have a garage. That's true. Many of the houses here have to park on the street or sometimes they can park round the back. So some of these houses actually have parking spaces round the back, don't they, Steve? Yes, it's, it's because their front doors are, are right on the, by the road. Uh, so as you say, sometimes they've got parking spaces round the back or they probably have to park in the, in the road. Yes. So because these houses are very old, many of these houses were around before cars were invented. So that's the reason why. So many of the houses you can see here are really, really old, maybe two, maybe 300 years old, some of these houses. This one here especially, this is a very old house here. So this is actually uh, the gatehouse. This is one of the entrances to what was the old abbey. Uh, interestingly enough, this one looks like they've built a garage on the side. Yes, it looks like they've, they've, they've converted this into a garage. So let me just check to make sure that we are not running out of battery power. I'm cleaning my boots. We are okay. Mr. Steve is now cleaning his boots. Would you like to see <laughs> Mr. Steve cleaning his boots live on YouTube? Oh yes. This is what people want. This is this is the excitement that people want to see on the internet. They want to see people cleaning their boots. Because it was very muddy, very muddy walking in today. So uh, all that mud puts a lot of weight on your shoes. So uh, we like to find puddles to wash it off, don't we, Mr. Duncan? We do. We were actually hoping that there'd be somewhere to eat or drink, but everywhere, every single shop, every tea room, every cafe is closed today. Shabnam, hello Shabnam, I'm feeling very well, thank you very much. Jeffrey, Jeffrey is going. We are now going to take a look at another little area. This is called Church Walk, Church Walk. And this is a little walkway that takes us to the church. Look at this. This is the, the main area where the church is. And if you, we walk along this lane, first of all, you will notice there are lots of lovely dustbins, lots of wheelie bins. Oh, isn't that lovely? How pleasant. <laughs> and <laughs> we are now walking towards the church. And there it is. That is Holy Trinity Church in Much Wenlock. Of course, this place has been the scene of a lot of activity over the past couple of days. Lots of church services taking place here. But if we look at the scene now, it looks very much like a very typical English town or village. 
So I think this, this particular shot you can see now looks like something from an old TV show or movie, something depicting a period of time from the past, or maybe, of course, something that is typically English. I think so. So we are now live from Much Wenlock in Shropshire, which of course is in England. And we are back. Oh, we're back, everyone. For those who are wondering what is going on, we decided to go for a little walk today because yesterday we ate far too much food. We ate so much food. Lots and lots of food, lots and lots of chocolates, lots and lots of unhealthy stuff. Oh, look, there's someone's bird feeder here. Can you see the bird feeder? <laughs> Isn't that lovely? There's a lovely bird feeder for all of the birds to come down and have something to eat. Isn't that nice? We're now coming towards the churchyard and the main church. In fact, two weeks ago today, two weeks ago, I was actually here doing a live stream in the snow. But as you can see, the snow has all gone now. The snow has disappeared. This is one of my favorite places as well. Look, isn't this nice? Look at this. It looks very, very scenic. <laughs> so there we are now. You can see we are now on church walk, even though it's back to front. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's use the other camera. That's better. So there we are now in Church Walk, which is in the centre of Much Wenlock. And as we move the camera slowly round, you can see part of the old abbey and also the church as well. Holy Trinity Church. A very old building. This has been here for, I think, maybe four, five hundred years. Part of this church is very old indeed. In fact, the tower is part of the original structure. That particular tower, you can see, is part of the original structure of the church. So I think part of this church is new and part of it is very old. And here is something we always see quite often when we look at old buildings. Look at the design of that. Isn't that beautiful? And this is a sort of Tudor style building. This is the old Guild Hall. This is where the local councillors and all the, the big wigs would meet to make decisions about what happens in the local area. So there it is. And now looking back towards the church and over towards the field. And I think we'll take a walk over here because there's something very interesting that I can show you briefly. We will be here for a few more moments and then we will, uh, we will go. But I want to show you one more thing before we finish. And this is something very special. Of course, Much Wenlock has a very prominent claim to fame. Much Wenlock was the place where the inspiration for the modern Olympic Games took place. So this is where the inspiration for the modern Olympics actually happened. And over here we are going to take a look at the grave of the man that was responsible for it. And here he is. Or, <laughs> at least, here is his grave. Let's have a look. His name is William Penny Brooks. There it is, William Penny Brooks. And he was responsible for organising the original Wenlock Games, which still take place to this very day. Can you believe it? And now we're coming down to another area. You can see there are some other graves here as well. So now we are walk walking through a churchyard. Look at that, very atmospheric. 
very spooky, scary. I think Mr. Steve might get a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm very glad it's not dark. Oh, there's Mr. Steve having a sneeze. Bless you, Steve. Thank you. I hope you're not coming down with the plague or the Black Death. I might, I might have to th have to throw you into one of these graves. So there is Mr. Steve looking around. He's he's having a look at the graves. I was, now, looking, I was looking for some dates, but uh, they're so old that uh, all the dates have been erased by the elements. The elements. Uh, yes, by the. Uh, the water, the rain over there must be hundreds of years old. Some of these tombs. Let's have a look, show. Yes, these are really. Ho look at these. You can tell that these are very old. These are probably four, maybe five hundred years old. Look at that. They are so old. Can you see anything on the graves? Look at that. So I think that these particular graves are quite old. Shabnam says it's a very horrific place where you are standing now. Yes, it looks very spooky. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much, Hector, for your message as well. Look at this. We are now walking around a graveyard. Right here in Much Wenlock. It looks rather eerie, don't you think? Rather eerie, spooky. Okay, we're coming around the side of the church and we're going to go back onto the main road again. And there is Mr. Steve. Have you enjoyed this, Steve? I have, it's getting a bit cold. And I must admit, because, well, my hands are now frozen. My hands are now frozen. And here are some more old gravestones. Look at that. It looks as if in the past this must have had something on the side, maybe some, some railings or some sort of structure. Can you see there? It looks as if in the past there used to be something else attached to this. Metal. Yes, so I think in the past this particular grave must have looked quite, quite stunning, quite amazing. Do, 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 do. And one more before we leave the churchyard. Very interesting. You know what, I think I would like a grave like this. I think this, this would be the sort of thing that I would like a big sort of stone structure. <laughs> Resolver asks, do you have the courage to go there at night? I can answer that question very easily. No, I would not. I definitely would not. And look here, there is an old entrance to the church. So it looks as if in the past this was an entrance to the church, but now of course you can see it's been blocked and look at this. Oh my goodness. Look, it's some sort of opening to a cellar. Oh my goodness. That looks a bit scary to me. Yes. Shall we put you down there, Mr. Duncan? Shall we go down and have a look? Shall we go into the cellar? No, maybe not. <laughs> we'll do a live ghost watch. Yes, but maybe we should come here later and look out for the ghosts. <laughs> Lots of people are now, I think some people are actually fighting on the live chat. I don't know, it looks like some people fighting. are fighting. They're disagreeing with each other about something. So, for those who have just joined me, I'm live in Much Wenlock on Boxing Day, the 26th of December 2017. Just another week to go, and then we will be into. 2018 a new year is just around the corner oh my goodness i can't believe it so i think we will go now thank you very much for joining me today here is our last view of much wenlock and as you can see it's a beautiful day here 
It's not too cold, not too warm, and it looks as if the Christmas lights have just come on. Oh yes, the Christmas lights are on now. Very nice, very beautiful. And as we look along the street, you will see lots of other old buildings. I suppose we should take a look at this building over here, Steve, because this particular building is important. This is the birthplace of the man that I mentioned earlier, William Penny Brooks. So this is the place in which he was born. And just to prove it, they have put a little sign on the outside just to tell us. So there it is, just to prove what I've just said. So there it is. The birthplace of Dr. William Penny Brooks from 1809 to 1895. Actually, he lived for a very long time, which is unusual for that, uh, that period. Because so, I was going to say, that's where he, he was born and just across the road is where he's buried. Yes, so just across the road is where we were just. So he's buried over there and he was born <laughs> here. Very intriguing. I think we will leave it there. That is the Guild Hall, by the way. That's the building that we just walked past. The Guild Hall, a very old building indeed. Over the years, this has had a lot of renovation <laughs> because it's mainly built from, from wood. So most of this structure you can see here is wood. And a lot of the brickwork has been added over the years to support it. I think that's it, Steve. I think we will leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us, joining us today. I'm actually, my mouth is now freezing up. Oh, yes. Uh, somebody there says, have a nice cup of tea now. I know, I really need a cup of tea, but there's nowhere open. Everywhere is closed. I have to go back very quickly and put the kettle on. I think so. So, we are now going to let you go. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for staying with us today. We've had a lovely time. My mouth is now freezing up because it's very cold today. And we will just go across the road. And we will let you go thanks for joining us thanks for spending time with us i hope you've enjoyed this live stream something a little different today something unusual so mr steve we will go back home now because i'm freezing cold definitely put the kettle on <laughs> we'll see you on sunday sunday we will be here from 2 p.m uk time live on youtube from 2 p.m UK time and of course it will be the final day of 2017. This is Mr Duncan in Much Wenlock in Shropshire saying enjoy the rest of your boxing day, have a super time, don't eat too much even though I think I'm going to eat a lot over the next couple of days because we still have lots of lovely food at home Catch you later and have a great day. This is Mr. Duncan for the final time saying thanks for watching us. And of course, you know what's coming next. Mr. Steve, could you please wave for me? <laughs> Ta-ta for now.